good morning. So, had a good night's sleep. I feel really good about that. I tried to film just a little bit, but I didn't do very well last night, so I just said screw it. Um, I may have put the footage in, I may not have. You'll have seen it already. So, but we are just about ready. We're waiting for a battery to charge. Um, actually, two batteries, one of mine, one of Letty's. And then we're off to our first hike of this adventure. Um, we are gonna go to uh, do actually a small portion of the PCT, um, but it's called the Wild Water Preserve to Stone House. I'll always put the description and stuff. Oh, seems like it's going to be a really beautiful day. Um, it's already getting slightly warm, so but we're prepared. I'm wearing tank tops. I just have like on a sports bra, which doesn't matter if it's showing. I mean, we're out on a trail, right? And then today I'm going to wear my sun hat, which is kind of the first time I'm doing this. Um, I actually tried out the sun hat when I was um, taking care of some stuff at home the, over the last few days. <clears throat> working outside and it seemed to fit and work okay so I have my hair up in a pony ready to go and we're gonna see how this works um, I already put on some like bug spray I mean I, I really don't like putting on a lot of that type of stuff but I went ahead and put on bug spray now and then when I get to the trail I'm gonna put on sunscreen uh, I just want a chance for it to kind of set a little bit I don't know if the sunscreen will make it like dilute or defeat the purpose but we did watch a vlog last night or a video on this trail and around that time in April someone saw a rattlesnake so we are being very prepared <clears throat> and ready uh, just in case you know we're gonna be very aware of what's going on so uh, we're gonna make sure we do vlog it and let you see that trail but we're gonna we're gonna be mindful of what's happening because we are in the wilderness especially big in the wilderness here uh, and then I'm thinking we'll come back and then see. I think our plan is to kind of just hang out here because this is a 12 and a half, almost 13 mile hike. And so we'll be pretty exhausted. So I'm sure we'll just come back, shower. And then we're thinking actually trying one of our hiking meals. So that'll be kind of interesting. All right. So I guess we're almost ready. So we're going to hit the road. I'm driving. Okay. We are down... Um, in the eastern Southern California region and kind of just outside Palm Springs. It took us about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get here from our campground, which is down near Desert Hot Springs. And we are taking the white water to Stone Hill, Stone House, Stone House <laughs> Trail, which is around a little over 12 and a half miles. Some people say it's 13, some people say it's 12 and a half, so I'm gonna say it's right in the middle. Um, it's This is a beautiful little area. It's got a nice little picnic area. It's got restrooms um, to start off the trail. And the drive isn't bad coming in. It is a little bit squirrely, but it's only about four miles, so it's not that bad. It's not like some of the other ones that I've done when I've driven up to like Lake Isabella up in Central California and stuff, where you have like about 20 miles of very curvy road. Um, and it's just off the Interstate 10 for anybody who's familiar with um, Southern California. So, but really nice area. I will film a little bit more when we leave of uh, the area that's here. It has, uh, look like people come in like picnic here and stuff, but we're gonna start on this trail. Here is some of the information like they put out at the very beginning and it shows uh, the layout of the area and then some more in general information here and then here is where we start our trail. We're very excited about this. It's something that we've had, um, well, Letty's had on her bucket list was to be able to at least put her feet on the Pacific Coast Trail, which is part of, um, that we'll, we will cross paths with it on this trail. So very exciting. So I am waiting for Letty to use the restroom real quick. I'm actually okay to go, so. All right, let's do this. Well, hard to read the way the shadows are coming in, but we're gonna be stepping on the Pacific Crest Trail in half a mile. And then our goal is to get to the Stone House, which is six and a half miles. So we're gonna start the trail.
half a mile. And there's a snake on the trail already. I'm gonna go this way. Oh my God. So we, uh, we've crossed these little bridges, which are really nice. We saw in a couple other videos where it was really flowing and it was really wide, so they crossed like a log and stuff. We're actually gonna walk back just slightly because we need to wet our cooling towels. Uh, this is the last area where we'll have um, this really nice cool water out here. And so we're gonna use that instead of using our drinking water because that would be stupid of us. So, all right, we're gonna do it right here. That's pretty clear water. Yeah. Look how nice. The lady is still gonna use, put the Sawyer um, filtration on top. Of if that. we need it, yeah. And that's like backup water. <laughs> Better be safe than sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we are about a mile in and trail is very nice, uh, very easy to navigate. It's pretty uh, signage, good so far. And uh, we're starting to do a little bit of a climb here. So it's been pretty flat, so right at the one mile mark, you'll start going a little bit up, um, very easy. Uh, there was one climb where you saw with the stairs back there right after the water crossing but seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, there's some little bugs flying around. I did put on that bug spray, so I'm not really getting attacked by anything. And we're just trucking along here. Letty climbed like 400 stairs several days ago, and she her legs are hurting still a little bit. So, but she's doing good. She's right there. I can see why this is called white water because like the rocks are just lots of shades of light grays and white and then the sand is pretty much white um light beigey white and so and because we're walking in sand it's getting a little tougher but hopefully it'll pack down up here farther down on the trail but yeah we're doing pretty good. Not quite two miles in. Oh wait, no. We are two miles in, yay! We're two miles in. Yay, marker two. So this is about marker two. Oh, Got a little wow. sign here. Uh, it's nice that the trail is marked really well. And of course they do have the All Trails app open. But oh, we're going along. Very proud of ourselves. Only four and a half miles to go. 
So typically I have the navigation on and I check it regularly and then it looked like we were going in the right direction. We went off just slightly. But whoever watches The Amazing Race, you know how they're always saying, there's the flag, there's the flag, go to the flag. Well, I was like, there's the marker. So I was like, go, go. <laughs> so we were able to find it pretty fast. But that one area right about the, what, uh, two and a half, two and a half? Yeah, about the two and a half mile marker. Uh, it's gonna look like you're gonna walk down like a river zone, but no, you're gonna go toward the mountains. So, just follow your map. Okay, we're, we're climbing. <laughs> we're almost, we're almost at the top of the climb. And it has been treacherous. Uh, upon us. Um, but we're doing it. Uh, like I said, if we, if we don't, we feel like this is not working out, we'll, we'll go back. But, right now there's low shade and I think that's the biggest issue. Is there's no shade. Um, we're both ready to just go jump in the river. But, we're at three miles. Three miles. Okay, alright guys. So what we ended up happening was, we both felt, um, so I, I kind of know myself pretty well and I was feeling a little woozy and stuff every time I would stop. And I know that feeling because I have gotten um, heat stroke or heat illness or whatever they call it in the past. And uh, I was just kind of feeling a little bit off and I got to a point where we got to three miles and I checked in, I go, okay, three miles. I checked in with you guys, you just saw that. And I turned off the camera, I told Letty, I said, I don't think we can do this. And she goes, yeah, I was feeling woozy too. So we made the decision from the very beginning that if we can't do this, we were gonna turn around because it's not worth our health or safety or, you know, something happening to us and having to have like some rescue team come get us. So we listened to our bodies, we listened to our our minds, and we said this is the right thing to do, turn around. But we're pretty proud of ourselves because in the end, this is gonna be a total of six miles. And I think that's still a really good hike for one day. So I'm pretty proud of us. And uh, maybe we'll go back to the campground eat, uh, take a shower, eat something, relax, kick back, maybe take a nap, and then see what we can, what kind of trouble we can get into later on today. All right, see you at the, at the river. here and had some lunch we met a wonderful lady from Canada over here she is actually on the PCT going she started she's about a week ago and she's just trucking along up here doing her thing so happy women power up here right although we didn't make it that far we know she's gonna do it so we're gonna get going we're gonna go back to the actual kind of parking lot starting area we have about two and a half miles, so it's not that far. And uh, and then we'll head on back to the campground. We sat here and had some lunch and we just enjoyed sitting here listening to the water. Oh my gosh, it was so peaceful. It, it was just really beautiful. But now it's time to head on back. It's about two, about one o'clock. So perfect timing. Ready? Are you ready, Letty? Okay, we're very excited because this sign over here 
means that we're about a half a mile from the parking lot. <sighs> Yay! So, a couple rivers to cross, and then we will be back to the preserve starting point. Okay, had a hat on all day, so bear with me. <laughs> I see a building, I'm so happy. Uh, this is a lot, I don't wanna say it was hard, it was hard, but I don't know, there was just something, you know, it's the combination of sun and the breeze comes, the breeze goes away. Uh, when the breeze goes away, it's just the sun being down on you. So it's just, it's just one of those. But all I can say is I see a building, which means we're very close. <laughs> Oh, I know, but it said no swimming. I know. <laughs> I'll probably All right. hold it till we get to I'm gonna take a shower. As soon as I get there. I gotta shower. I gotta shower. <laughs> All right, we are back to the car. We are so done. So done. Oh my gosh. I don't think we expected it to be like uh, just the heat, like I've said, I've said this a couple times now, the heat is just, can really do a toll on you. I, I know as soon as I feel it, I'm kind of like, uh-uh. And I could tell Letty, she, her face was getting redder and redder. And so I said, you know, if we, if we aren't going to do this, this is, we're going to go back. And she was agreeing. Yes. I, I, and she had a hard hike a few days ago. So that also... It's taking a toll on her, you know, legs and stuff. Uh, doing like 400 stairs, <laughs> which I don't know if I could do, but I would. I would love to be able to one day. But yeah, it, overall, it's it's a beautiful hike. I would say that if we just decided to go to the river, the White River, and hang out there, that actually is perfect. I think it's about two and a half miles in. And uh, it, it's perfect right there. It's a beautiful place to hang out, take a picnic lunch, get in the water. It's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, so I would say that that's like the perfect level of hike if you're gonna come during the dead on sun. Um, we do see some dark clouds coming for some reason all of a sudden, it's like Letty said, as soon as the hike ends. So, <laughs> but sun is still catching me pretty good. So anyway. All right, that's the end of this one. Take care. Have a great day.